Hello students in this session you are going to learn 12th standard computer applications subject chapter 4 introduction to hypertext preprocessor the main concept you are going to learn in this session hypertext preprocessor client server architecture server side scripting language web server installation and configuration files and web development concept okay so first of all let us see why do we need to study php nowadays internet has become an important part of our life that we cannot live without it we are using internet for many purpose for education for entertainment for playing games and for online shopping and ticket booking for travel for watching movies and listening audio files and so on nowadays all the students learning through online by the use of internet we are using so many applications like facebook twitter and we are playing games like clash of clans candy crush and so on but do you know one thing these all the applications was created and developed by the programming language there are so many programming languages such as c c++ python java and so on for creating web pages and web related application you can use html and php languages because these languages are called web scripting languages okay so let's see the definition of php php stands for hypertext preprocessor here h means hypertext pp means preprocessor it is the one of the important server side open source web scripting language so two types of scripting languages are there what are they client side scripting language and server side scripting language this php is the server side scripting language and it was invented by rasmus lerdof in 1994 It also creates dynamic web pages in the real time web development projects. So what do you mean by dynamic web pages? Website to two types, static web pages and dynamic web pages. In static web pages, same content is delivered every time the page is loaded. But in dynamic web pages, the content may change every time the page is loaded. Some of the examples for dynamic web pages are Facebook, Amazon and so on. So, it creates dynamic web pages in the real time web development projects. Let's see the next point. Initially, PHP stood for personal home page, which means PHP, personal home page. But recently it has been changed to hypertext preprocessor. So, PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. This PHP has many versions. Currently, we are using the version of PHP 7.3. It is released by the official team on 30th November 2017. Okay. The current version of PHP is what? 7.3. Okay. Let's see the next topic. Various server-side programming languages are PHP is the server side scripting language some of the other server side scripting languages are Microsoft ASP and JSP ASP means active server page and JSP means java server page and ruby scala javascript perl python so many server side scripting programming languages are there but PHP is a competitor and alternative for this all server side scripting languages okay so based on the recent statistics analysis 78.9 percentage of websites are developed by using php scripting language okay next let us see client server architecture this is the diagram for client server architecture here this is the client and this is the data server clients and servers are connected through the network which means internet this client is called as hardware machine and this server is called as high performance hardware machine because it could run more than one application concurrently okay at the same time it can run more than one applications 
so server is a high performance hardware machine and this server and client is connected in the network this client sends the request to server and receive the response from the server okay so, so this client is also called as service requester and this server is also called as service provider okay tell me the example for client and server our mobile or laptop or computer is called as clients and high performance computer connected with the web server software that is called server let's see one real life example for client and server okay this is a shopkeeper and this is the customer so you can imagine customer as client and shopkeeper as server if the customer needs something he will request to shopkeeper the shopkeeper has many things in his shop so he will look for thing which was requested by the customer and gives that thing to the customer in same way server is a machine which has the resources like web pages files services etc and the client request for a resource to server the server will process the request for validity if the request is valid then the server sends the response to the client okay so client is the one who request the product and server is the one who fulfill the request of the client okay so this is the example of client and server next let us see about types of client server architecture there are three types of client server architecture what are they single tier architecture two tier architecture and multi and three tier architecture so first let us see single tier architecture this architecture is used for the server accessed by client the client application runs inside the server machine itself see here these are the client computers this is the file server this client computers runs inside the server machine itself which means this acts as a single layer interaction okay next two tier architecture this architecture is used for the server accessed by the client as two layer interactions such as client layer in tier 1 and server layer in tier 2 you can see here this is client tier this is server tier which means this is first layer this is second layer so two layer interactions these are client computers these are server okay next multi or three tier architecture this architecture is used for the server accessed by the client through more than one layer interaction you can see here this is one layer this layer for client computers and this is another one layer this layer for business logic tier this is application server and this is third layer this is for server and in next let us see web scripting languages what is web scripting language the web scripting languages are mainly used to develop websites and web based applications this is divided into two types client side and server side scripting language php is the server side scripting language but javascript is the client side scripting language so php is completely different from javascript because the client side scripting languages are javascript vb script html css ajax jquery these are the client side scripting language so you can visible its programming codes on your computer but the server side scripting languages are php asp.net java ruby perl and python you cannot visible these programming codes on your computer so server side scripting languages are completely different from client side scripting languages okay next let us see website request and response from web server to browser this is the web browser tell me the example for web browser google chrome opera internet explorer mozilla firefox these are the example for web browser and see this is the web server tell me the examples for web server apache microsoft iis etc if you want to search a particular page what will you do 
you just open google chrome that is the web browser and type the url in the web browser's address bar then it will be sent to web server in the form of http request and the web server sends that web page to web browser in the form of http response after that the web browser will be able to open the web page okay the web pages are available in the web server that web pages are created and developed by the php coding okay what do you mean by web browser web browser is referred to as browser it is a software by using this web browser you can access the information on the world wide web you can access any type of information by using web browser you can search many web pages images and videos audios and you can download them in your computer the most commonly using web browsers are google chrome opera internet explorer mozilla firefox so what is the web server a web server is a software that uses http http means sort hypertext transfer protocol it is used to serve the files that in the form of web pages to users users means sort we are the users or you can say this web server is a software which is running in server hardware the software which is running in server hardware is called as web server it takes the responsibilities for compilation and execution of server side scripting languages the compilation and execution of server side scripting languages are done by web server okay some of the web server software are given here here most commonly using web server software are apache nginx microsoft iis iis means what internet information services it was developed by microsoft and light speed here based on recent statistics of web server analysis more than 130 percentage of websites are running under the open source web servers such as tomkit apache and nginx etc okay next let us see how to install web server and how to configure files in web server okay so let's see the step by step procedure here we are going to install apache web server so first go to the apache foundation website and download the web server software apache this is the link to download that apache web server software and step 2 After downloading the .msi file from Apache Foundation website, you have to install that software. For that, you have to click next button and next button, and then finish the installation. Okay. At the installation time, it takes default port number one thirty or one thirty one thirty. Default port number is what one thirty or one thirty one thirty. So. After completing the installation process, if you want to test the installation of web server, you have to enter this URL from your web browser. Okay, this is the URL. You have to enter this URL. After giving this URL, one output page will be displayed on your web browser that says it works, which means if your installation is completely finished, this page will be displayed on your web browser. After that step 4 the administrator of web server can start and stop and restart the web server service at any time via windows control panel if the server administrator stops the web service then the client machine will not receive response message from the server machine okay and the next point web server's configuration settings file httpd.conf is located in the conf directory under the apache installation directory you can edit this file okay so this is the procedure for installing web server software okay and next topic is web development concept so this web development concept describes in detail about website development and hosting through the network network means internet it includes web content generation 
and web page designing and website security and so on see the next topic how php script work the website or web page is developed by the programmer using php script which means by using php scripting language the website or web page will be developed okay after that that website codes are moved to web server path in a remote server machine remote server machine means what high performance machine so that website codes are moved to web server path in a server machine okay here this apache is a web server software okay these are the files on documents or web pages are stored in this files see this client side these are the web browsers this is apple safari web browser this is mozilla firefox web browser this is google chrome web browser this is internet explorer web browser opera web browser you can select any one of this web browsers okay so here you are selecting google chrome web browser okay in that google chrome web browser you have to type the url of the website or web page for example if you want to open facebook website you can type www.facebook.com url in the google chrome web browser address bar okay after that you just press enter key your request will be sent to the web server after receiving the request from the client machine which means google chrome the web server tries to compile and interpret the php code which is available in the server remote machine so after receiving the request from the web browser the web server compile and interpret the php code of facebook web page okay after compilation and interpretation that facebook web page will be sent to the client machine over the network from web server finally the web browser receives the response from web server and that facebook page will be displayed on the web browser which means it will be displayed on your computer or your mobile or your laptop that is called a client machine okay let's see the next topic php syntax there are three types of php syntax are available what are they default syntax short open tags html script embed tags let us see one by one okay first let us see default syntax the default syntax begins with less than question mark php and closes with question mark and greater than see here this is the example code of default syntax here this is the opening tag this is the closing tag this is the string hello world echo means what this is the output statement to print one or more strings then you can use this echo statement okay next short open tags this short open tags begins with less than question mark and closes with question mark greater than but the admin user has to enable short style tag settings in php.ini file on the server the short style tags are stored in the php.ini file location on the server okay these tags are created by admin user this is the example code for this short open tags this is string hello world this is opening php tag this is closing php tag this semicolon is end of the statement and the next html script embed tags these tags looks just like html script tags its syntax is script language is equal to php this is opening script this is closing script between these scripts one statement is given the echo this is a html script tags this is html script tag inside the html script tags php statement is given so we have to add the file extension for this code dot php not dot html you have to store this code with the file name and the extension dot php and the next embed php in html you can write the php script codes 
inside the html codes and save that file with the extension of .php but this php script codes hidden from the client side which means the php file gets executed in the web server the browser receives only html and other client side files but none of the php code is visible in browser which means the php interpreter from server side produces only html files to browsers but it hides the php files okay see this example this is the web page this is the html and php codes of this page these codes will be stored in the web server but if you want to see these codes you just open the website and right click by the mouse select the inspect option when you select inspect option the source code of that page will be displayed on the screen see here this is the source code here html codes is displayed but php codes is not displayed you can see here this php programming codes is not displayed on the browser because php is a server side scripting language you cannot view these php codes in client side but html is a client side scripting language so you can view that html codes in the web browser okay let's see the next topic variable in php PHP has variables like other programming languages such as C, C++ and Python etc. Variables means what? Variables are the storage location which can store the values for later manipulations in the program. Which means A is equal to 5. Here 5 is the value, A is the variable. 5 is stored in the variable A. Okay. The variable in PHP begins with a dollar symbol. And next you have to write the equal to operator that is the assignment operator. And then write the value and then write the semicolon. So first you have to write the dollar, next write the variable name, next write the equal to, next write the value. Next that statement ends with the semicolon. This semicolon indicates the end of statement. The main advantage of PHP variable declaration is it does not request to specify the data type keyword separately such as int, character, float, double or string. You don't need to mention data type separately. Okay. In C, C++, Python languages you have to mention the data type for that variable. But in this PHP scripting language, you no need to mention the data type. That is the main advantage of PHP variable declaration. The basic rules for variable declaration is variable name must always begin with dollar symbol. You have to start a variable name with a dollar symbol. Variable name can never start with a number. You cannot start the variable name with a number. And the variable names are case sensitive, which means uppercase A and lowercase A are different. So it is case sensitive. Next, PHP data type. PHP scripting language supports the data types are string, integer, float, boolean, array, object, null, resource. What do you mean by string data type? String is a collection of characters enclosed within double or single quotes see here this computer application you can write this string within double quotes or within single quotes between this computer and application space is there this space is also considered as a character see this example this is the opening tag this is the closing tag x y variable is given x is the computer application and y is the computer application this is given in single quad this is given in double quads and echo dollar x means print x x is sort computer application and echo br means sort break okay so go to the next line next echo dollar y means print the next string computer application with the single quads okay so it will be printed on the output screen Next, integer data type. Integer is a data type which contains non-decimal numbers. 
see this example this is opening tag this is closing tag dollar x is equal to 59135 this is the integer value variable dumb means what this is the function it returns the information about the variables which means it returns the type and value of that variable it belongs to which type integers and what is the value of this variable 59135 it will be printed on the output screen see the next data type float float is a data type which contains decimal numbers which means fractional numbers see this example this is opening tag this is closing tag this is the variable name dollar x is equal to this is the floating point number which means fractional number 19.15 this variable dumb is a function so you have to print the type and value of that variable x so what is the type float and what is the value 19.15 it will be printed on the output screen next boolean data type boolean is a data type which denotes the possible two states true or false it prints either true or false in the output see this example this is opening tag this is closing tag x is equal to true and o is equal to false when you are giving echo dollar x the true will be printed on the output screen when you are giving echo dollar y the false will be printed on the output screen and next array array is a data type which has multiple values in a single variable in a single variable you can store multiple values in an array see this example this is opening tag this is the closing tag here cars is a variable in this variable computer laptop mobile these three values are stored by using array data type okay see variable dump cars so it will be prints type and value of the given string see the output how many elements are there three so array three first element is stored at the index zero so zero string how many characters are there in computer 8 and next first index value is laptop so that value is what 6 and mobile that is also 6 this mobile is stored in the index value 2 because array's index positions always starts from 0 so first element is stored in the 0th index value and second element is stored in the first index value and third element is stored in the second index value next data type is object php object is a data type which contains information about data and function inside the class collection of objects is called a class instance of a class is called object so this object is defined inside the class this object data type contains the information about data and function this is the example for object data type this is the opening tag this is the closing tag one class name is created that is school within the class the object is created see here school object and one function is defined new school here also one function given that is function marks within that section is equal to a is given so here when you print this school object object is equal to section then you will get the output a okay and the next null data type the null data type is a special data type which contains a single value that is null null means what zero see this example this is the opening tag this is the closing tag one variable is given x is equal to computer application and next again another one variable is created with the same name x that's x value is null so when you are calling variable dumb function it will shows the type and value of that variable that is null will be printed on the output screen because x equal to computer application means computer application value will be stored in the x variable after that again you are creating the same variable x is equal to null so null value will be stored in the x variable okay new value will be stored in that variable that is null so null will be printed on the output screen and next data type is resource resource is a specific variable it has a reference to an external resource 
so this is the specific variable okay these variables hold specific handlers to handle files and database connection in respective php program so these variables are used to handle files and database connections in php programs let's see the example this is the opening tag this is the closing tag here handle is the specific variable if you want to open a file for reading which means file name is note text file okay if you want to open that file you have to give if open note text it will be open on the output screen okay and see here echo br this is the break of line see the next line connect to my sql database server with the default setting if you want to connect to my sql database server with the default setting you can use link resource variable so write link is equal to my sql connect local host root this is the path of database servers okay so you have to give like this and when you are calling variable dump function that link will be displayed on the output screen and next let us see operators in php what do you mean by operators operators is a symbol it is used to perform mathematical and logical operations in the programming languages you can use the operators for mathematical calculations and logical calculation in programming language operators are nothing but symbols the different types of operators in php are arithmetic operators assignment operators comparison operators increment or decrement operators logical operators and string operators let us see them one by one okay first let us see arithmetic operators the arithmetic operators perform arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division you all know that these symbols plus minus multiplication symbol division and modulus operator is used to arithmetic operations this symbol is used for addition which means it is used to adding numbers subtraction means it is used to subtracting numbers multiplication means it is used to perform multiplication of numbers and this division operator is used to dividing the numbers and the modulus operator is used to find the remainder value of the division okay next let us see assignment operators assignment operators are performed with numeric values to store a value to a variable here equal to operator is the default assignment operator this operator sets the left side operand value of the expression to the right side variable which means a is equal to b means the value b is assigned to the variable a by using symbol assignment operator equal to see this table these are the assignment operators x is equal to y so the value y is assigned to the variable x by using assignment operator equal to okay here y is the value x is the variable okay and next x plus is equal to y means x is equal to x plus y you have to write like this okay here you have to add x and y and store that value in the x variable okay and next x minus is equal to y means x is equal to x minus y you have to subtract the y from x and store that value in the x variable and x into is equal to y means x is equal to x into y you have to multiply x and y and store that result in the x variable and next x divided by is equal to y which means x is equal to x divided by y you have to divide the value y from x and store that value in the x variable and next x modulus is equal to y means x is equal to x modulus y you have to divide the y value from x and take the remainder value store that remainder value in x variable okay and next let us see comparison operator this comparison operator performs an action to compare two values two values are there you have to compare that values 
this values may contain integer or string data types okay this values may contain integer or string data types number or strings see this table these are the comparison operators equal identical not equal and not equal not identical and greater than less than greater than or equal to and less than or equal to okay these are the comparison operator and next let us see increment or decrement operators increment and decrement operators are used to perform the task of increasing and decreasing the variables value which means if you want to increase the variables value you have to use increment operator but if you want to decrease the value of the variable you can use decrement operator see the operators this is pre increment operators plus plus dollar x this dollar x this is a variable you have to write dollar symbol with the variable name okay so plus plus x means on pre increment pre increment means see here here first plus is given so first you have to increment the value of x by 1 and then returns the value x okay which means let's take x value is 5 so plus plus 5 here you have to increment the x value by 1 okay x value is what 5 so first you have to increment the value by 1 so plus plus 5 means what 6 okay then returns the x value x value is what now 6 okay and then see post increment x plus plus x value is what 5 5 plus plus means it returns x that is 5 and then it will be incremented by 1 okay next minus minus x means first it will be decremented by 1 so 5 minus 1 means what 4 then returns x so value of x is what 4 and x minus minus means what first it returns x so 5 will be returned and next decrements x by 1 means x will be decremented by 1 okay and see the next operator logical operator this logical operators are used to combine conditional statements see this table this is and symbol this is or symbol this is not symbol this is x or symbol see this example x and y this and symbol performs multiplication operations okay see here if x value is 1 and y value is also 1 then it returns the result true see here true if both x and y are true which means it performs multiplication operations so 1 into 1 is equal to what 1 that is true if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 then 0 into 1 is equal to what 0 false okay so it returns true if both x and y are true otherwise it returns false and the next or symbol x or y this or symbol performs addition operation okay it returns true if either x or y is true which means if x is 1 and y is 0 it returns 1 plus 0 that is 1 okay it returns true but x is 0 y is 0 means 0 plus 0 0 false so here x value or y value is true then you will get the result true otherwise you will get the result false and next not not means opposite of value okay which means if you are giving true then it returns the false value if you are giving false then it returns true value if x is equal to 1 it returns 0 which means false value if you are giving 0 for x it returns true okay so it returns opposite value okay and next x r it returns true if either x or y is true okay but not both which means if x value is 1 and y value is 0 it returns true which means it returns 1 but x value is 0 and y value is 0 it returns false if x value is 1 and y value is 1 it returns false okay 
Next is C, next to operator that is string operator. Two operators are used to perform string related operations such as concatenation and concatenation assignment which means up and here two operators are used to perform string related operations. What are they? Concatenation and up and okay. Concatenation means dot operator okay. This is text one, this is text two. Between these two text write dot symbol. Concatenate means what? Adding two strings, merging two strings. If you are giving here for text one computer, for text two science, then that two strings will be added. So computer science will be printed on the output screen. Okay. And next dot is equal to which means concatenation assignment operator. If you want to add new string at the end of old string, you have to use this operator. See here text 1 dot is equal to text 2. If text 1 is computer, then if you want to add science with that, you can write science to text 2. Okay. So science will be added with the computer. So computer science will be printed on the output screen. Okay. So this is about string operators. I hope you understand. Thank you students.